should be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. <laughs> Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. I she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I say something wrong? You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? Sending you away. Lovely sky. Oh, are you with your thing for a visit? Yeah, it was Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveller. Hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her. Or near to. Glass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Bergthora and Eirik. Who are Bergthora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Bergthora's hand. They live toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that chat. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Take care. someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken, but village is brimming with lovely girls. Did you say lovely girls? Where? Maybe one would be willing to show me around the island. Well, there's Vea, lovely one, Cooper's daughter. Though, nah, she's got teeth like fish hooks. Now, Deborah, there's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. Though, there is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. Maya's got a right dreamy face. If not for that bit of bone rot on her right foot. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think. Well, none of these lasses are really appealing. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching.
Swarming like gulls around the waist heap. Bye, be sure we showed them. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. Thanks for your help. Did it once, maybe you can do it again. Well, we'll have to think about it. Busy the day me fishing got nets to mend. No time to fight monsters. It's not Drowners this time. It's Ceres. I'm looking for her. Aye, fine looking girl. Can tell right away she's from a good clan. Left her sitting right here when I sailed out to bring in the morning catch. Any idea why she came here? She say what she was after or just admire the scenery? She asked about our Jarl and his family. She say where she was headed? Uh, wouldn't tell a stranger, but we did risk our hides together. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Footprints could be Ceres's. Ceres passed out. Got to get her out of here. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelrek. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brokvar, the ancestral sword of Udelrek's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelrek. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelrek and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelrek. But his father gave Brockfart to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelrek to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelrek to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. 
spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. about. Find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Oh, we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? 
Uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering. A pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The guards will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. be the place.
vanished. Anything. Time to see Little Rick. To do it. What is this? Erdelreich. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry, a voice said, you vile wretch, you didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you, right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Himes' lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. 
When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful, but we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you? Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough Witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. What can I say? So, shall we try trekking it first? Yeah, let's. Good decision. Haunted house, the Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Get off! Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Geralt, come! Think I've got an idea! Looking to discourage me? 
Good. Means you're scared. Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the feed. In the oven. Throw him in the oven! The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? 
Gonna stay on speaker rock? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be growing impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. <laughs>